Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to change the default browser that uh, Windows uses with widgets. So if you've been using Windows 11 and you're using these widgets down here, you could click on it and you could kind of customize your stories and what you see there. Um, so we have a video on how to use the widgets, so if you want to check that out, you could see how it works. But by default, let's say you want to click on a link or a article from a widget. Now it opens with Microsoft Edge by default. And even if you change your default browser to, let's say, Chrome, it's still going to open with Edge for the widgets. So thankfully, there is a little tool you could download called uh, MS Edge Redirect that will allow you to change how this works with the widgets. So to use it, first you need to change your default browser if you don't have it set to you know Chrome or whatever your other browser you want to use. So to do that, if you don't know, just go to your settings. Go to your apps, default apps, find your browser of choice. In this case, I'm going to do Chrome and click on set default. So now when you have your browser's default changed, you could run this little executable here. Accept the license. Uh, they always say to use active mode for better performance. So we'll say yes to that and click next. So now you want to check your browser here. You could check these all, but if you're just using regular Edge, you know, you're not using these beta versions, you could just check Edge Stable and then change this from Bing Search, change it to your Google. And then eventually they're going to have this for Bing Images for redirecting and MSN News. But you could also change your MSN Weather to a different weather site if you want. And then PDF Viewer if you want to change it from Edge to... Uh, you know, Acrobat, you could do that as well, but we're just concerned about the uh, widgets for now. So click on update, and then just, you could uncheck this box if you want here. Okay, so now that we have this changed, let's go back to our widgets. Pick the same story here, and now you can see it open with Chrome. So that's an easy way to... Uh, have your widgets open with your browser of choice rather than Microsoft Edge. I'll put a link in the description for this little app you could download. It's just an executable, nothing to install. And then you could run it and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.